Nigel, not now. Nigel? We to drop the honorific so soon? Haven't you missed Lady Whistledown's scandal sheet writings? The Shonda Rhimes produced Bridgerton was an instant hit since it aired, and the show with the gorgeous costumes and drama dialed to 100 is prepared to come back stronger and harder for season two. It's on the way, and Julia Quinn's romance novels offer some interesting insight into what could be in store. As the creator, Chris Van Dusen teased, Anthony is going to have a love interest and it's going to be as sweeping and as beautiful as viewers have come to expect from the show. So, let's see 10 things to expect from Bridgerton Season 2. Number 10. Anthony as the Leader The second of Julia Quinn's Bridgerton novels, The Viscount Who Loved Me, puts Anthony Bridgerton in the leading role. Anthony's story was hinted at in the final moments of Season 1, and it's since been confirmed that Season 2 will be taking direct inspiration from the novels in that regard. Simone Ashley has already been cast as Anthony's main love interest, Kate Sharma, who will presumably be based on the book's Kate Sheffield character. Anthony's lead role will have implications for the rest of the show as well. Given that Bridgerton's success on Netflix was largely due to the individual performances of and chemistry between Simon and Daphne, they will likely play a larger role in season two of the show than they do in the later books. But they will still inevitably have to take a back seat while the other Bridgerton siblings find love. You and I need to talk. Daphne, bed. Number nine, more Bridgerton family history. With Anthony taking center stage in Bridgerton season two, the show will likely dive deeper into the history of the family, specifically the life and tragic death of their file, Edmund Bridgerton. In The Viscount Who Loved Me, Edmund Bridgerton dies from an apparent bee sting. It's a devastating blow to the family since Edmund is only 39 and in seemingly good health when he passes. Anthony can hardly believe it himself since he and his father were both stung when Anthony was younger and they didn't experience any adverse side effects. The author Julia Quinn says in closing author's notes that, medically speaking, bee sting allergies generally don't manifest themselves until the second sting. So it makes sense that Edmund could have suffered a fatal allergic reaction to another bee sting. In the early 19th century, allergy tests and treatments were not yet discovered, so doctors wouldn't have been able to help Edmund regardless. Well, this experience accounts for Anthony's fear of bees and how he's always checking his watch. It factors into a moment later in the book when Kate Sheffield is pursued by a bee and Anthony overreacts to it. It's a nice little nod to the books and represents that Edmund Bridgerton is still a part of his family's life, even though he's not there physically, right? Good God, did someone die? Number eight, what about Benedict Bridgerton? Benedict Bridgerton has an interesting storyline in season one, which saw him step out of his high society parties and into the more bohemian world of art and free love. Since Benedict is the main focus of the third Bridgerton novel, An Offer from a Gentleman, season two of the Netflix series will likely start planting seeds for his own leading role. The books show Benedict fall in love with Sophie Beckett, the illegitimate daughter of an earl. Benedict's Netflix story could look very different than it does in the books, however, as it's already been notably altered. The seamstress, Madame Delacroix, who Benedict begins seeing romantically in the first season, is an entirely new character, and his time with the artist Henry Granville is also original to the show. Spare one for me? Number seven, Queen wants this. Wait, Queen Charlotte? Isn't she amazing? It's not only the appearance of her that is garnering attention, even her exquisite gowns and fantastical wigs pale in comparison to her giant size, on-screen personality, and captivating persona. It's hard to imagine that a 19th century royal had all of that wit and pizzazz, and it's quite entertaining to watch it in the series. In season one, Eloise was assigned an important mission from the queen to investigate the real identity of the Lady Whistledown. But unfortunately, she failed in the mission, after which the cool queen decided to entrust this investigation to the professionals. Recently, Golda Rochevelle, aka the best queen, opened up about her expectations regarding season two. Rochevelle would like to see a strong alliance between the queen and Eloise Bridgerton. If creator Chris Van Dusen comes to me and says, Golda, what would you like to see in the second season if we have a second season? I would say, the Queen and Eloise have to get together and form an alliance to find out who Whistledown is, the actress said. <laughs> We're doing well. We're doing well. Number six, hunt time for Lady Whistledown. 
The mystery of Lady Whistledown's identity was a central storyline of Bridgerton Season 1, ending in the shocking twist that it was Penelope Featherington all along. Only the viewers were clued in, however, leaving the other characters in darkness. Penelope's secret role isn't revealed until much later in Julia Quinn's novels, so it's unclear whether or not more people will discover Lady Whistledown's identity in Bridgerton Season 2. At least, the quest to uncover Lady Mysterious should get even more intense. Queen Charlotte has already put money on the table to suss out the scandalmonger's identity, and she and the rest of the ton may become even more dedicated to finding out the truth. That could make things tricky for Penelope, and it should make for great drama in Bridgerton Season 2. I, I did not know you would be here. Oh, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Number 5. Colin and Penelope Season 2 could be going ahead with fans hoping to see more of Penelope Featherington and Colin Bridgerton in a forthcoming series. Will the two ever get together? Well, as if Penelope could not take any more heartbreak, she received the ultimate blow in the Season 1 finale of Bridgerton. Penelope had gathered the courage to tell her close friend Colin she was in love with him. But just before she could utter those three words, he interrupted her with some devastating news. Colin revealed he would be leaving London to travel the world and thanked Penelope for always encouraging him to follow his dreams. But that doesn't mean that Penelope and Colin's story is over yet, however. At least not if the novels have anything to say about it. Colin and Penelope's proper courtship is the subject of the fourth Bridgerton book, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. So likely Colin will eventually catch feels for Penelope in the show as well. It may be some time before the other characters discover Penelope's alter ego, and it's unclear how large a role Colin will play in season two. But further steps in their love story will likely come soon. It's a rather delicate matter. I wish I did not have cause to raise it, but... Number four, Megan and Harry storyline. A Joa Ando, who plays Lady Danbury, offered viewers a sneak peek into next season. I really can't say too much, nor would you expect me to, but I guess what we do know absolutely is that they're married now. It's a new married life and they have a baby. So there are all the vagaries of what that is like for young people with a new baby. I mean, Harry and Megan, what's it like when you have a new baby? How does it affect you when you are a young couple with a new baby? I just think we're going to see how Phoebe and Reggie's characters, Daphne and Simon, navigate being in love, very in lust still, but with a new baby in their lives. Having to navigate and negotiate that between each other, between their families, and between their wider social circles. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. And with Simon, how do you father when you have never fathered or had a father? She said. Ando also shared that her character, Lady Danbury, is going to be in the mix with the skinny of what is occurring in the hitching area and the powers and shakers and the movers in the town. She will be all across that, so you will get to see some of that this season and see some of her developing relationships as well. And I would never forgive you your carelessness. Number three, release date. No date is given yet, although the original announcement from Netflix said season two will begin filming in the spring of 2021. This author has been reliably informed that Lady Anthony Bridgerton intends to dominate the social season. The letter reads, I will have my pen ready to report on any and all of his romantic activities. The statement did not include a premiere date, but if Netflix hopes to catch lightning again, Christmas 2021 would be a nice target, right? Number two, cast. The first of the Netflix show from Shonda Rhimes plans to add a bunch of new characters, according to showrunner Chris Van Dussen. As we have already mentioned, Simone Ashley will join the adventure as Kate Sharma, Anthony's love interest. She will be the female lead of season two. As we know, Kate is headstrong, smart, and suffers no fool. So it sounds like Anthony is going to have a much bigger challenge in store for himself and even his former lover, opera singer Sienna. What about Simon and Daphne? Surely Bridgerton wouldn't be Bridgerton without these two. So while we might not count on them for being around all too often, they are sure to have some intriguing new developments with their new responsibilities. Lady Danbury, Eloise Bridgerton, Penelope Featherington, Queen Charlotte, Benedict Bridgerton, Marina Thompson, Colin Bridgerton, and many already known faces would be back to us. No, do not wake them. Would you like to join me? Number one, a glimpse of season two. Angela Endo, who plays Lady Danbury, posted a photo from behind the scene of the popular drama, alongside fellow stars Ruth Jimmel and Golda Rochevel, who plays Violet Bridgerton and Queen Charlotte, respectively. Along with the caption, 
gearing up for season two. Although it's not certain if the photo is from the season one's production or the new episodes, it certainly got fans excited for its return. Meanwhile, Phoebe Dynever, who plays Daphne Bridgerton in the period piece drama, recently opened up about when filming would officially commence, admitting that coronavirus restrictions were making things tricky. She told a deadline in January, I can't imagine how it would be possible to film under these circumstances. There are so many extras and so many crew members, and it's a very intimate show. It just baffles me how we would film it under COVID rules unless there was a vaccine beforehand. Are you waiting for Bridgerton's new season? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.